So, hey there again, Wayne D. Francesco here from Woodlot Country Club. And we're looking at Steve Stricker. And I wanted to make a little comment about players and what they think they're doing and say they're doing and then what they actually do. Now, here you've got arguably the best putter on the tour, and which may make him the best putter on the planet. Now, in a recent magazine article, and also Jerry Kelly reiterated this, is that what Steve likes to think he's doing is he per perceives his stroke as straight back and straight through. Now, I want you to watch this putt right here, and you tell me what you think the putter is doing. Now, this is probably a, a right edge putt. He's going to lip it out on the left side. But to watch the putter move, now you'll note that his shaft, and this is one of the oddities about Steve, is that his shaft is even more upright than his than his forearm angle, which is fairly different. You don't see that very often. And I'll show you a front view, and you'll see that the putter actually sits heel up, which is very different from most players. So anyway, let's watch this stroke here. All right, good. Let's watch it a couple times. So come on back. Oh, it lifts up. Let's watch it again. So take a look at this backswing. Now, you tell me, does that look straight back to you? Now look at his foot line and watch the putter move. What if I just draw a line right on the front edge of the toe here? How about that? You see that? That's definitely not the camera moving around. Now watch the follow through. So you can also take a look at his at his forearms right up right up here and you can see that if this was straight back, you wouldn't see any change in that in those forearms. Well, it's obvious that there's some rotation going on there. So let's flip her to another view. Now here it's pretty obvious that that putter's standing up and this putter's sitting up on the toe a little bit. Now, from this view, the interesting thing is just watching his shoulder movement. Now, again, a straight back and through stroke dictates that you rock your shoulders up and down. Well, let's see what happens. So there's the stroke. Now, you can just at address see the very top of his right forearm over the left. That would be right, right there. Well, now that's gone and that disappeared. And when he goes through... Look how much of his chest appears. So you know that his shoulders are moving on a tilt. If his shoulders are moving on a tilt, he's putting in to in. And again, if you watch, you can see the putter goes in and it finishes definitely. So here's the, there's the ball. We go back, and here's the start. There's the start line of this putt. Watch the putter. Look at that. Boom. So what's the point here? The point is he's a great putter. He probably doesn't really care exactly what he's doing. He cares more about what he thinks he's doing. And if he likes to feel straight back and through it might keep him from going too far in to in. Now, that's good for him, but when he starts putting that in magazines and saying it all over the place, people hear that, and instead of doing what he's doing, they start trying to do what he is saying. That's the problem. It isn't helping anybody. Not that his job is to help anybody, but... It's my job, I think, to help you decide what you would like to do and to help you discern 
what these players are actually doing. Because you got to be real careful when a good player tells you what he's doing. That's exactly what he's telling you. He's telling you what he feels like he's doing. It may not have anything to do with what he's actually doing. And this is a perfect example of that. So just beware of explanations from good players because their perceptions are very often nothing, have nothing to do with what they're actually doing.